Jenny Fisher from NCA Digital, and I'm joined by Michaela Pivik from Oregon State Women's Basketball. And Michaela, how are you doing during this time? I'm doing pretty well. Uh, it's a really difficult time, but I've been able to spend a lot of time with my sister in Boise, Idaho. Um, so it's been a blessing that way. Yeah, and how have you been spending and filling your time with your sister? Doing a variety, a variety of things. Uh, thankfully, I have access to uh, one of my friends owns a local gym that's closed to the public, but they've allowed uh, me and another friend to go shoot and work out there. They have lifting um, equipment, so uh, that's been really awesome. And then with my sister, we've gone on a couple hikes. I've been able to ride bikes with her, um, play a lot of board games. One of my favorites is snake oil, and then also read some books. So what kind of books have you been reading? Yeah, I just finished reading um, No Easy Day, and that was by an ex-Marine, and that was pretty interesting, looking into um, the Osama bin Laden uh, plan and execution of that um, assassination. And then also, um, I want to start the Harry Potter series, so I just got the first book in that series, and I think it's time to read that. So have you seen the movies, at least? Yes, I've seen at least the first four movies that are typically on TV uh, very pretty often rotating through, but I have not read the books at all and I need to. Awesome. That'll be good to see the comparison between those. So one of the main reasons that I was so looking forward to talking to you is that you did have that article that was on OregonLive.com that talked about your experience with the cancellation of the tournament and kind of your emotions, what you went through, but also kind of what you wanted to come out of it um, on the other side of things in terms of how you wanted to spend this time. For people who may not have seen it or read it, can you kind of give a quick synopsis of what it was and why you did it? Yeah, so those uh, were diary entries that I had done throughout the course of the season. I think there are four or five entries total. And that last one was kind of a reflection of uh, my thought process after I heard the tournament was canceled and kind of leading up to that. Um, and then um, the next couple of weeks and how I was processing everything. And then at the end, um, I was transitioning to like what I want to do next and what my plans are for this indefinite time period. And something that um, I did a project on last term and will continue to work on is providing healthy meals to healthcare professionals. Uh, physician burnout was a key issue. And during the, this pandemic, uh, they've been more stress placed on them. Um, so I think uh, now could be a really good time to um, kind of bring the community together and um, help small businesses as well connect in that process of feeding um, those people on the front lines that are sacrificing so much for us. So for people who may want to get involved and give back in some kind of a way, what advice would you give to them? I would say um, start in your local community. There are so many ways just um, affecting the people right around you. Uh, there are different ways in the past that we've thought about volunteering, but now with this kind of new digital age, there are uh, a variety of creative ways people can stay involved. Um, one thing that our student athlete department and development team at Oregon State has thought about is um, connecting with local retirement homes um, and assisted living places to um, connect with uh, those individuals that have been hit so hard by this pandemic, as well as um, people like we're so starved for human connection, uh, having that extra call to reach out and talk with somebody can make their day. Yeah, and why do you think that human connection portion of this is so important? It's it's a crisis, and it, we're in such unprecedented times. We never really know what to expect next. Um, so just having that support system that's there for you and willing to engage with you uh, means a lot and uh, can really make a difference. So, Michaela, I've asked you this before in the fall, and what would you tell people who ask you, you know, why do you do what you do and why are you driven to give back? I think um, I've been giving, given a lot in life and it's my opportunity to um, give back to others. And also a, a, as a student athlete at Oregon State, I have this huge platform to be able to inspire or bring people together. So I want to make the most of that opportunity that I've been given. Yeah. And I think an important part of the whole article um, was that you put your personal email into it. So how has that been going? Have you been receiving any feedback yeah. for volunteer opportunities? Mm -hmm. So I've received a ton of really awesome emails from that um, 25 to 30 people reaching out offering different ways they can help different ideas they've thought about people that have worked in the healthcare industry and um, pros and cons to what the idea of trying to um, help bring forward um, and then also lots of monetary donations people have put forth so it's it's been really awesome feedback and uh, the support has been really cool to see. 
Yeah. So as far as what's ahead for you, even in these uncertain times, what are you hoping to do in your future and what's ahead for Michaela Pivik? Yeah. Um, so taking it day by day right now, but at immediate plans that I'm thinking about are preparing for the WNBA draft and um, hopefully a, a long career uh, playing basketball. It's my first passion and love. So I want to do that as long as possible. Um, and then throughout this um, like pandemic and uh, this indefinite time period where we're not sure exactly what's happening, just trying to um, impact the uh, healthcare professionals by providing meals to them uh, through this um, program that I'm trying to help start. Awesome. Well, best of luck to you in that. Part of this is that you get to nominate the next person to be interviewed and you can pass along a question if you'd like. Anyone in all of NCAA women's basketball, uh, who would you pick? Ooh, anybody for grabs. I think I'll have to go with Brittany Brewer from Texas Tech. I got the opportunity to be her teammate as we trained for the Pan American Games that took place in Peru this summer. Um, and she's also on a panel um, this coming Monday about Christian athletes in the community. So I'd like to um, ask her uh, what she prepared to talk about during that panel and um, how has her faith um, impacted her journey as an athlete. Great. Thank you so much, Michaela. Best of luck in what's all ahead for you. Stay safe and stay healthy. Hey, thanks for having me.